Hi, my name is Carrie, and today I'll be talking about what you can expect during your first cool down. At this point, you should have already set up your system. You can set up your system by consulting the manual, the unpacking guide, or watching the getting started video. I'll meet you at the point where you've set your target temperature, the software's running, and you're ready to cool down. Once you've set the target temperature to 4 Kelvin, you're ready to cool down. Simply push the cool down button. You'll hear the roughing pump start and the case valve open. And the system will begin to pump down in pressure. Both the case valve and the pump are located in the control unit, so you'll hear all this happening within the control unit. At this point, the pressure begins to drop, and in three to five minutes, the, t the pressure will reach two tor. Once you get to two tor, the compressor will begin to turn on. You can monitor the pressure in the system tab under the chamber. Once the compressor turns on, the pump will stay on and the case valve will stay open until the pressure reaches 300 millitor. Once the pressure reaches the 300 millitor, the cryo pumping will begin and the pump will turn off and the case valve will close. You'll notice as you cool down that the thermometers don't cool uniformly. Stages one and two will drop quicker than the platform and the sample. The sample and platform do not start to drop in temperature steeply until stage one has reached about 30 Kelvin. Stage two stays warmer than stage one to extract any impurities into the charcoal absorbers, which are located on stage one, that may be in the sample space. The pressure will reach 0 0.09 millitor right around the time when the system reaches the base temperature. This is the lowest that the pressure gauge will read, but note that the pressure is much less inside of the sample chamber, and it's really on the order of 10 to the minus 7 tor. A typical cooldown takes about two hours. A more intricate system, for example, one with more mass, like piezo positioners or larger housing, will take longer. You can set the temperature to a higher set point without having to press warm up or a cool down. Simply set the target temperature to a new value and the system will rise to that temperature and stabilize. To warm up, you'll simply press warm up. All heaters should engage. If nitrogen is hooked up, the system will vent at 285 Kelvin, but if nitrogen is not hooked up, the system will vent at 295 Kelvin. You can manually vent the system by going into manual mode Click Enable Manual Mode and say that you're sure that you want to enable manual control. And then simply press the case valve open and the vent valve open. You'll hear those click open and then the pressure will rise within the sample chamber. You only want to manually vent the system if your temperatures are all above 280 Kelvin. And you can press them off once you've reached room temperature and pressure. This video shows what you can expect during your first cooldown. Let us know if you have any questions or experienced anything different. Please contact us at Montana Instruments. We'd be happy to help you.